sleeping in another room so I'm trying to keep my voice to a minimum so if I'm whispering at any time my apologies but the kid is sleeping today we have an FTP unboxing here's my box right here I got all of my deer items inside I have a couple items off to the side right here luckily we got some new items in here and then I got an item back here that we are gonna go through so this drop was from November 30th dude sadly it took four full weeks for me to get all my items I understand that uh, Zach and all the homies were working day after day but it did take four weeks for me to get my items Items, which is a little on the longer side in my personal opinion you know your stuff drops a week passes two weeks passes but once it gets to like that third and fourth week it's kind of just like to the point where you're kind of annoyed and you're just like you want your especially on top of that he's like previewing new things and then it's like you're kind of like where's the I ordered three weeks ago, four weeks ago, but it is what it is. Homeboy's doing everything in-house. Zach, FTP, everybody at FTP. You guys know I got mad love for you guys. I love the products you put out. I will continue to purchase and buy from FTP uh, because I love it and they make great quality products. So before we get into this, make sure you guys check me out on the gram at Leroy Destroy. I appreciate everybody who watched the last pickup video. I know that thing was like 30 minutes long. I'm going to definitely try to make this one at least half that or shorter but make sure you guys go check me out on the gram at Leroy Destroy that's my personal uh, I posted a fit pic in uh, some of these items that I'm about to show you guys I'm always posting on my story you guys can see what we're doing YouTube aside and if you guys want to win any of these extra FTP items that we have you guys can check us out on Prem Population the greatest aftermarket community to ever exist who knows you can take home some coasters beanies hats maybe a shoulder bag for 5 10 15 or 20 dollars Prem Population on the gram Leroy Destroy Go check it out and uh, sh get it cracking. All right, so this was from the drop where uh, Travis Barker did the lookbook, which was pretty cool. I thought there was uh, a lot of good items. I thought the accessories were good. I think the past couple, two, three drops for Zach and FTP have been extremely solid. I've seen a lot of items, majority, if not all of the items selling out uh, day of, day after, two, three, four days after. And uh, this drop was no different, dude. The bags are fire there's a couple fire beanies hats uh, that we are gonna get into right now so first thing I want to show you guys is this chair I believe the retail on this chair was $44 or something like that if this is your first time uh, watching a video about FTP I always put on for FTP because the garments and the quality of the stuff is extremely good and the prices are always extremely low dude the tees are like 24 bucks all the accessories are always like 18 bucks 16 bucks 20 bucks 32 48 like you never see uh, supreme prices or astronomical prices I'm always copping 20 to 30 items every drop and I'm spending like a thousand dollars 1200 bucks and I'm just getting like eight nine ten orders uh, that's one reason why I love FTP so here's the chair you guys can see it does have FTP all over print uh, on the outside of the chair like the case of the chair which is pretty cool and then it's just this regular fold-out chair chair like a garage chair bonfire chair whatever you have it be you guys can see the FTP print all over this I think the only way that he could have made this chair better is if the print was 3m uh, you know that way at night if light shined on it, uh, it like glue up I feel like that'd be pretty sick uh, but it is a pretty fire chair uh, I have a lot of these chairs in my garage when the homies come over we set them out sit in the garage smoke do whatever and uh, I put these right next to the chairs that I have in the garage that I bought from C CVS, Sam's Club, Walmart, whatever it may be, and the quality is right there. They're probably honestly the exact same chairs, and for $44, 
45 bucks. It was an instant cop. I got two of them. I think I already sold one of them, but I'm definitely going to keep this for the garage sessions. And uh, this will probably be my new seat in the garage uh, when I go out there to smoke cigarettes. 40 bucks for a nice all over FTP chair. Doesn't get much better than that. All right, so let's get into a couple clothing items first. The one thing that I did not buy was the half zip pullover. There was a couple things that were like hot on the page uh, that went fairly quickly. This uh, bear sweater was one of them. The holographic hoodie was another one of those pieces and then the half zip was another one of those pieces and I actually did not acquire any of those except the holographic hoodie. So I tried to go for the bear sweater. It sold out. I bought this from somebody else but by the time I had got the holographic hoodie in red large, the knit sweater was gone and the half zip pullover was gone and I've seen a couple homies rocking the half zip pullover. Uh, it says like FTP blasted on the chest. Nice big half zip. It came in gray and red. Extremely tough. I'm definitely looking uh, for that sweater to buy in the next little while. But here is the bear knit. To me, uh, this was one of the best clothing items of the entire drop. So this is a nice blue navy, as you guys can tell. This sweater also came in white, which I think looks extremely nasty and a little bit more proper than the navy. Probably going to try to end up wearing this a couple times, then maybe sell it and then buy the white one and have the white one to wear. But I wore this around Christmas time uh, with some red plaid pants and it went absolutely perfect. So if you guys want to see what this looks like, like on then just go to my Instagram at Leroy Destroy. You guys can see a nasty picture but it is the infamous FTP polo bear. He's teased this and done this on a couple different items. Uh, there was a hoodie with this on it. He dropped a deck with this on it and uh, this uh, little polo graphic goes back in time a little bit with FTP but you got your upside down American flag, your FTP sweater on the bear, the ski mask and then down in the corner it's FTP. This was like the first real knit that that he did and honestly it's an awesome sweater the quality is there the neck is nice and tight uh, it's a beautiful sweater all around and uh, I believe this thing was 88 bucks or $89 retail 90 bucks somewhere around there uh, one of my favorite items that I got from the drop. Alright, so next we'll go over the holographic hoodie. This was actually the first thing that I checked out on the website. I believe this came in red and black. I skipped the black, which I should have got black because I don't have like a lot of just plain black hoodies. Uh, but I don't know how the red ended up in my cart. You guys can see the holographic right there. This thing is shining. This is a regular FTP logo hoodie, just like all the other logo hoodies and logo tees. You have a small logo on the front chest flip and dip to the back and that's where you have the fat FTP blast. Look at this thing shining in these lights. This thing looks like a 20 carat diamond splatter on the back of this hoodie. I have not yet worn this, but I'm very excited to do so. I haven't really touched any of these items as I've been waiting for them to come in and do the video, sort everything out, what I'm not keeping, what I'm keeping. And uh, yeah, the bear knit is really the only thing that I've worn. Uh, so I'm excited to wear this hoodie for sure. It's still cold over here in SoCal at night. You got the big blast on the back. That was the holographic hoodie. And I think it was probably $90, 80 bucks somewhere around there. Uh, the hoodies, sweaters, things like that are all priced around the same uh, the same price range. All right, homie, so we're going to dig into this box a little bit. The first thing popping out is my favorite part of the entire drop, which is the hats. I have four of them right here. Three of them are the same hat, and it is the Death Series hat. So here's the black one right here. Basically, this is like a snapback. It's like a play off of the fitted hat that he did drop before last. This is a snapback, the one, the like a original one was a fitted hat but this is a snapback on the back you got the gun logo instead of like the new era logo or the nba mlb whatever whatever and then on the front is where you have ftp death series and then on the side of this hat you have an ftp embroidery this was the black one which was a mando cop and then uh two more colors right here i think brown came out to be the best color this was the last color that i grabbed but actually ended up being my favorite color out of all of them as you guys saw on my 
Instagram the other day, I've been gravitating towards brown more. And for some reason, you got the green underbill with this brown Death Series hat. So basically, it's like a World Series play. FTP Death Series. You got FTP embroidered on the side. You got the embroidered patch on the back. An FTP tab and then a snap there. That's the brown one. And then you got a gray one as well. I'm happy that he dropped gray because I don't have too many gray hats. I think I have an apple hat from Supreme that's gray and that's pretty much it. So here's the gray Death Series hat. Uh, same exact graphic as the other ones. You got white embroidery on this one. Same embroidery patch on the back. Snap. This is like a, I'd call it a six panel hat. Five and a half panel. You can see there's some structure to it uh, but it's not too flimsy and uh, these things probably fit great. I cannot wait to wear these dude. You got FTP tags on the inside. Those were the Death Series five panel hats or six panel hats and I was extremely surprised that those sat for like three days on the website. I thought those were going to be gone in a second but uh, yeah I grabbed another hat that was dummy slept on and it is the racer hat and this was one of the only fitted hats that he dropped from this drop I believe. So it says the population number one and then it's kind of got a Dale Earnhardt uh, colored car and it says FTP so it's kind of supposed to be like like a driver's signature number one uh, and then you know you got the car and then on the back it says FTP I got a size seven this does fit the dome very very well uh, this knit beanie takes a second to get on my head and look this good so I'm gonna leave it on but these are dummy slept on I think I don't know he took everything off the site but these were the last remaining items on on the site. I got the black one as well, gifted it to the homie for Christmas, and I kept the red one right here, a sleeper for sure. I love these fitted hats that he's been doing, and uh, the Death Series, uh, the FTP logo fitted, he's kind of been doing different things with hats uh, instead of just the simple logo hats uh, that I've been feeling for sure. I got two beanies. I think these were the only two beanies to drop. We have a camo one right here. So this really isn't woodland camo, it's more of like a digi woodland camo. It's got the same like color scheme as Woodland Camo. Green, dark brown, light brown, like same color scheme again as Woodland Camo, but it doesn't necessarily go in the Woodland Camo pattern. You got more of like a Digi Camo pattern to it. And then of course you got the FTP patch on the front, that's it, nothing on the back. I literally have almost every single color beanie that Zach has ever dropped. He drops black ones, these ones always go up in price. The OG black ones are worth like 200 bucks. That's actually the one I'm wearing right now. I just rolled it up. Uh, you got the logo in the back, but uh, this was like one of the first black beanies he ever dropped years ago. And uh, yeah, he's switching up the beanies a little bit. These are two different styles of beanies. So these ones that he does the checkerboard on, the camo on, uh, it comes on a little bit wider and bigger and thicker of a beanie. And then when you get to just the regular solid colors, it's a little bit more of like a tight knit, loose gauge beanie that fits like a little more snug to your head. Uh, but yeah, those were the hats and the two beanies that I acquired uh, from the last drop. All right, y'all, so let's get into some fan favorites. Here are the 3M shoulder bags that he dropped right here. I got a red one, I got a black one, and I got a green one right here as well. So we will go over these quickly. Black on black never gets old. You can never go wrong with black. You have an FTP patch. You have two pockets in the front, and then a pocket that goes over the top, and a pocket in the back. Literally, you got four pockets on this thing. The strap is... Uh, uh, hidden on the inside of these bags and when you hit these with the flash these things absolutely are just splattered with 3m they're so sick i'll try to include a picture in the corner of the screen right here of them all lit up but they look so sick when the flash hits them that was the black one and then we have uh the green one right here and the red one right here now i'm not sure which is my favorite between the red and the green these are both super nasty i might just get rid of the black one because i have a regular black ftp shoulder bag and keep these two right here these things are so sick you can see the silver ftp that would be what glows up and uh just extremely like i said when you hit this with a flash it's just splattered everywhere dude these things are so fire and then the red one you can see uh the ftp print a little bit better but you got pockets all over these things you can stuff a bunch of stuff in here those were the three shoulder bags that dropped from the most recent drop black red green you got them all also this packaging 
as Zach's been doing is killing it. These were the little bags that the shoulder bags came in. You got a little zip thing at the top, FTP printed on the plastic bag, which is extremely sick. And uh, the packaging gets better as we go on through these items. So here's a water bottle. Uh, a lot of times the packaging is the coolest part of the item to me. Don't get me wrong, I do love the water bottle. Uh, but here's the packaging right here. You got all black packaging with just white blasted FTP. And I believe this was just a regular Nalgene water bottle or however you call it. I don't even know if this would be Nalgene or however you say that word, but it's just a basic water bottle. It's not like a thermos or something that'll keep uh, anything too hot or too cold, but this thing is super fire. That's the one thing that's good about FTP and Zach is just like the white letters on black, whatever it is, is just so simple and it goes with so many things. It's like the most relatable thing to a box logo right you can take anything on any color garment and you put the red and white box logo on it and often it looks extremely good that's how I feel about the FTP logo and that's why I feel like Zach has been so successful and will continue to be so successful because even though the logo is so simple you can put it on something black or even different colors reds things like that and the logo just looks extremely good so you just got this little uh, twist off top right here you throw your water in here it has a little hook to put on your belt and uh, when you go for your morning jog you can stop and uh, take a drink of some f the population water Again, with the prices, I think the shoulder bags were $30 each, maybe $32 each. That water bottle was probably $18, uh, not expensive at all. And we have three other accessories right here with sick little boxes and uh, the branding on these boxes, the packaging on these boxes is extremely cool. So you got three different boxes with three different items and uh, the packaging is just on point, dude. So you got this little jewelry looking box right here. You open it up and that is the pin set that drops so it is three separate pins in the same colors as the shoulder bag you got a red pin you got a black pin and then you got a green pin down at the bottom I think I grabbed two or three of these pin sets these things are super cool you can put them on your backpack your shoulder bag uh, your hat your and whatever you want to put them on uh, these things just clip on through the back and uh, those were pretty cool. So here's another little accessory. I believe these are the coasters, all black packaging, little FTP on the front. These are so fire, dude. I have Supreme coasters in this studio. I have golf coasters in the studio, leopard coasters. And uh, now we got some FTP coasters as well. So let me take one of these out of here so you guys can get a better idea of what this is. So this is just a rubber coaster. That's literally all that it is. It's flimsy on the back, it's shiny. So it's kind of like sticks to whatever you put it on your desk your entry table your nightstand and then you just have the FTP logo stamped in this rubber and uh, yeah you put your cold drink on here when it perspirates it will uh, fall and leak onto the coaster that way it won't ruin your end table your nightstand whatever wood you're putting it on these things are so sick coasters are awesome to have around the studio I have them all around the house like I said golf coasters supreme coasters and uh, now we got some FTP coasters. I think these things were probably 15 bucks, no more than 20 bucks, and it comes with a pack of four. I mean, dude, you can suit up your whole pad with these for like 20 bucks, and uh, yeah, you can set your drinks on these little FTP coasters. These things are fire. All right, let's get into this last little box tray thing I have here. I believe this was the key tray, uh, as it was called on the website, or the ashtray, whatever you want to call it comes in this little protective case right here and uh, yeah here it is so this is a pretty nice size tray it's about the size of my hand maybe a little bit smaller you guys can read it right there buy some cups for some cups FTP kind of a uh, play on the shake junk saying by the homies for the homies uh, there's been multiple different sayings going along this one right here this is pretty cool all black just some white writing in the middle and then it says FTP you throw your keys on here obviously if you guys are into uh, marijuana smoking or anything like that I'm sure this would make as a good rolling tray even if you smoke cigarettes uh, could make for a good ashtray these things are great to put on the entry table outside in the garage on the 
front porch, wherever you're doing your thing, throwing your keys, ash in your blunts, whatever, a cool little tray. Again, I cannot imagine this thing was more than $20, maybe 24, 25 bucks. All glass, all ceramic, probably. Solid little ashtray, key tray, and uh, that was uh, last of the main accessories uh, that I picked up from the last drop. All right, guys, I do have a couple more things to show you. I did get a keychain right here, which I think this is pretty cool. It's like a little FTP, like t-shirt keychain. I'm gonna try to get this to focus right here. It's like a logo T on the front is a small logo, and then you flip and dip to the back, and you got the big logo on the back. This thing is super fire. These things were probably like five bucks, eight bucks. You stick this on your keys, or uh, you know, put it through a loop, and then hang it from your rear view mirror, or whatever. I think we bought three or four of these things. These things were super, super fire. Again, extremely cheap. Just cool stuff. Comes in a nice little FTP bag after you're done. You can throw your grandma Kush in here and uh, have somewhere to store your weed in your FTP bag. But uh, that was one of the keychains that dropped, and one of my favorite items that dropped was the belt right here. So uh, this was a woven belt, I believe. Pretty sure it's just a cotton belt, but uh, I grabbed one of them in large and XL, and then this one right here is mine in small medium. So let me take this out of the plastic, because I'm gonna wear it anyway, and you guys can get a better idea of what this looks like, dude. So gas, dude. You got the holes down at the end right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven holes. And then uh, you just got a regular little belt loop, little buckle thing at the front right here. Too bad it's not double-sided, that would have been sick, but I guess it doesn't really need to be double-sided. You only wear it with one side anyway. So uh, I got a small medium because I got a tiny ass waist. I wear a size 30 waist. You got FTP probably one, two, three, four, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 times going across this belt. This was one of my favorite pickups from the entire drop, dude. A nice little uh, cotton woven belt, small medium. Again, this thing was 15 bucks, 18 bucks. Uh, you cannot go wrong with it. If you did not cop one of those, you're sleeping. Let me show you guys these stickers and you guys can scram. Psych, I still have to show you uh, the 10 year anniversary stuff. So here was some of the stickers that dropped. I'm not really too big uh, of a fan of the t-shirts and a lot of these stickers are graphics from the t-shirts. As you guys can tell, I didn't even buy one t-shirt for my myself. <clears throat> I've just never really been a fan of the graphics that Zach does with his t-shirt. I love FTP. I support FTP. I buy FTP every single time that it drops. Uh, I just don't really like the graphic t-shirts. I try to stick to the FTP logo tees. That's pretty much what my collection of tees are. I do have some random graphic tees that Duval will grab for me, uh, but as far as like myself, I just, I don't know why. The graphic tees just don't really appeal to me. So you got the uh, uh, FTP -um sticker right here. I'm sure that this was on a t-shirt extra strength Just some kind of pill capsule sticker right there. You got the outline logo stickers I love when he sends these with orders and then uh, we got the kids stickers right here I remember this was on a t-shirt for sure So you guys got two kids running one of them has a gun one of them has a Molotov and uh, they're wearing FTP shirts and jeans Those stickers are pretty cool. I did like this t-shirt actually. I think this was called the forgiven t-shirt I did buy two of these, but I bought them in XL and I already shipped them to the homie. I kind of wish I would have bought this t-shirt in large. I do like this. It's got like Jesus holding a white dude with a mallet and FTP jeans and a shirt on. I don't really understand the whole uh, meaning behind this graphic, uh, but it is a cool graphic. I wish I would have grabbed a large t but uh, here's another logo sticker that he sent. This is a red sticker with white writing. And then uh, the last one that he sent were these nine millimeter Luger stickers right here. So just says FTP nine millimeter Luger. Steel case, uh, something, 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 I don't know. Probably something to do with guns and bullets and shit that I have no idea about. So, I mean, shit, I made probably 10 orders and probably got 15 stickers, so that was cool. But uh, best part of the video, let me show you guys the 10th anniversary tees that just dropped the other day. Luckily, he shipped them quick, got them in the mail, and uh, yeah, let me show them to you guys. All right, so for the 10th anniversary, they got the gold packaging. I think like most of the items that have to do with the 10th anniversary are gonna be gold related, black and gold, white and gold, uh, and that was no different from the first drop of the release. So let me open this up. 
and uh, get this cracking, dude. So let me see if there's a sticker in here. There is. So this is going to be hard to tell on camera, but this actually is a gold foil sticker, which is pretty cool. If you guys are into FTP, collect FTP. I'm sure you guys collect the logo stickers that he sends. He did send a gold metallic logo sticker with it. And here is the white T right here. So I'll open this one up because uh, I guess I'm going to wear it. And if I don't, then I'll just tape the package up. But basically, it is just an FTP logo t-shirt and it's got foil applique on it and uh, yeah let's get into it dude so on the chest goal you have FTP this is gold foil so there was a disclaimer on the site that said the prints may vary some of the prints might not be the exact same and you can definitely tell uh, on the back of this t-shirt there is uh, some print missing in certain areas but that's just what happens I guess when you use gold foil to apply to a t-shirt what I thought was the best part of the t-shirt was the embroidery on the other side it says 10 years flip and dip to the back and then you have the fat FTP logo just like any other logo t-shirt so these things definitely mean a lot man if you guys have been with FTP for a while the first time I bought anything from FTP was in 2015 so I've been five years strong with FTP and uh, yeah this t-shirt definitely means a lot this was the white one let me try to find the black one I'm not sure if I'll take it out of the plastic but I'm sure I got it here somewhere this one came with a sticker as as well uh, same exact sticker little gold foil sticker I believe this was the only sticker that they passed out and here is the black one the black one sold out much much faster than the white one uh, but still all sizes and both colors sold out within like probably five minutes the black one was gone in probably like two minutes you guys can see the embroidery comes off way better on the black one ten years and then you got the FTP logo on the other side it just comes off a little bit better on the black because it's gold but both t-shirts were extremely fire I was happy that I ordered those on shit I don't know what day that was Tuesday or Wednesday and then I had them in my mailbox on Friday or Saturday so that was pretty sweet that they got on it and got those tees out that is everything dude for some reason I feel like this video is still 25 minutes long dude if it was my apologies I hope you guys enjoyed I know there was people hitting me up for weeks to do this video I literally waited till I got all my packages in I literally got my last package like not even three days ago from the November 30th drop so I got it out as soon as I could I hope it was worth the wait leave some comments down below and let me know what you guys grabbed from the drop if you guys didn't grab anything let me know what your favorite item was that I showed you uh, like I said my favorite items probably have to be the death series hats the black brown and gray and then I do like the bare knit sweater a lot but the chair is fire some of the smaller accessories the belt was one of my favorite items I feel like all around it was an extremely solid drop Travis Barker and the lookbook was super fire and uh, all around I think Zach and the whole team at FTP killed this drop so I'm excited for this year 10 years already cop the logo tees so I'm excited to what's uh, what's to come for uh, the rest of the 10 year he said he's making a 20 inch BMX with Colt so I'm excited for that leave some comments down below let me know if you cop how you guys felt about the video show some love drop a like for your boy if you guys are new for some reason I've never been to the channel before make sure you guys subscribe and if you guys have not ever bought anything from FTP change your life I've know I've put a lot of people on out there to FTP so if this is your first time hearing about FTP go back do some research look at previous drops see what's on the site right now and uh, stay tuned for the next drop because it's coming soon and it is fire shit, good quality decent prices and the dude who owns it is a solid ass motherfucker shout out zach and ftp shout out to all the homies who made it to the end much love check me out on the gram at leroy destroy we'll catch you guys on the flip side later skater reese's pieces i'm out of here deuces peace